Hi, this is Stan Becker in Venice, California. Meth Mike Bonin, poverty pimp, rape culture. Hunter Biden rape culture. Look, we have a news van here. We have KCAL 9 News. Maybe they're taking a picture of the L Venice sign. You know, they were here when it was O Venice sign when lease partner. Dirty Roger Child, Great Mahoney St. Joseph Center, lease partner with Venice Community Housing Corporation. You know, now we have a 70% homicide rise. And, you know, these newspapers come when it's kind of, you know, when somebody pregnant gets slashed and the blood goes all over Angelica Houston's house, then we'll get a news van. Or when a Beverly Hills doctor picks up one of our crack prostitutes, like Hunter Biden did, uh, looking for crack when his dad, Papa Le Pew, um, was running for president last year. But now Hunter lives in Venice, California, and I'm sure CBS is going to cover that Channel 9 because it's a major affiliate network and they're gonna be responsible and report that there's a 70% homicide rise, that children from 13 to 18, 300% self-harm increase. The message control is pervasive here with Yo Venice, Santa Monica Mirror, Venice Current, the Argonaut, all these blogs are real estate poverty pimp blogs. Steve Clare, Venice Community Housing Corporation, Hollywood Community Housing Corporation. These news people know all this because they do the research. But since they're busy probably taking pictures of the El Venice sign, and because I just got nearly uh, threatened there at Hamasushi, and some nice people said, Gosh, that shouldn't have happened. And they were right, you know, so I'm waiting for my nervous system to calm down a little bit. Because uh, when you live in this murderous dysfunction and you get a Biederman conversion, Biederman coercion chart technology of systemic abuse that Roger Mahoney used for 15 years against the LAPD, now conveniently defunded, and the nation's largest pedophile protection racket in Los Angeles County, Eric Garcetti's city council indictments, Ed Buck. Tenants reported Ed Buck for years. Mike Bonin admits to that. Mike Bonin, Ed Buck partner, Ed Buck financier, Ed Buck, endorsed by Jeffrey Epstein, Clinton, Biden, Obama Foundation spokesperson, her, Hillary, with her arms around Ed in a cute little rainbow bow tie while he was still Mangala like torture murdering exclusively African Americans, Jamel kept the journal, you know, LA Sentinel and the UK Guardian covered it, not CBS News. You get the news from Stan Becker and Horizon Health Action Coalition. Quarter of a million views on good God almighty, Buffalo to Venice Beach and I'm 70 and homeless. In retaliatory eviction, there's been several at Horizon. Apartments LLC, the perfect 20 unit research, microcosmic, research sample of what heinous frauds from Edward Edwin Ed Lux and Linda Lux and Venice Neighborhood Council and Meth Mike Bonin, Roger Mahoney, this little circle of lease partners, including Jonathan Sharon, Gary Stewart, Liberty Hill philanthropist, and my dear friend of 36 years who made history at Rhino Records. You know, he jumped to his death.
just a few days, a week after, I'm not going to get into any of this. Well, okay. CBS News. Venice, California. Let's all watch uh, television today, right? People stay off the media, get into real life, get into how beautiful it is, get into how much we love each other, America, get into how much individual liberty is a sacred and precious thing and must be protected. Do you know? I'm a first generation American. My dad was born in real fascism. This country and he fought in active combat under that flag. He gets ripped up and torn up and disrespected. And I had put it all over the world to just get a fresh one, and now that one's getting ripped up. But that's Meth Mike Bonin's message to the world. This fourth industrial revolution thing, this quantum 5G. Becky Dennison's already got her international number there and is politicking the UK Guardian and lying that race-baiting, cop-hate-spewing, poverty-pimp nonsense that these people ignore. What, is it going out for sushi? What, do they come to Venice for sushi? What are they reporting? The L Venice sign instead of the O Venice sign? Oh, another Project Rape Key St. Joseph staff rape. Oh my goodness. Let's meet the reporters for Channel 2, KCAL, 9 News. We've been out here for quite a while. After almost being killed, like my 76-year-old friend John was in the streets, there have been three recent, just recent, murders in the streets of Venice, California. Hunter Biden, Venice, California. Where else is a safe space for a bondage pedo? Right, now we're gonna to listen to uh, Bill Clinton and uh, Michelle Obama. And President Obama broke our hearts and to see our little girl we watched grow up in the White House, you know. And those pictures that Hunter Biden choreographed and carefully took and the FBI wants to know, gee, if you know anybody who might have been in the insurrection in January, and I'm probably having a CIA crack party, because that's what the crack wars were about in the 90s in Venice, California. Anything but the news. CBSN, Los Angeles, Channel 9. My name is Stan Becker. Very reluctant activist. This shames me because when you wrestle with pigs, the pigs like it, and you get muddy and pig crap all over you. The toxicity goes upon you. That's part of the Biederman coercion chart technology of abuse. They want to shame victims. They want to let you know that you'll be ruined, you'll be retaliatory evicted. Gary Stewart knew that sexual assaulter is still employed. He's still employed. Becky Dennison, hundreds of millions of tax exempt, real estate investment equity, kingmaker control collusion deals, and they're coming from Malibu. Edwin, Ed Lux, Linda Lux, Ira Cazzo, Venice Neighborhood Council, right? Now they're all want to re, the annoyed elite want to recall Bonin because murders and rapes are a little inconvenient unless they're here. Where Crack House Jack Hoffman and Carl Lambert Felon and Steve Clare also run the tourist industry, sex trafficking and drugs and arms. There's an open Biden border. This is Los Angeles. It's a short drive. Hunter Biden's here. What the hell are you people covering? Who's your reporter? I've been published by the Chicago Tribune. I've interviewed Richard Branson and Jesse Jackson when he was winning primaries. I'm 70 years old. I'm a non-criminal. I'm a 42-year resident of Venice, California, except when I'm on assignment elsewhere. Like in Nashville, making hits. Good God Almighty. Listen, you know, I shouldn't be smooth about that because it's a suffering struggle, you know, to be blacklisted, censored, ostracized, right? You can't get any coverage for a quarter million hits. No, nobody since Jim Morrison working out of, off of these streets, songwriter off of these streets, did that. You know, I'm sitting right next to uh, Roy Trakin at the... Uh, 
from Variety at Gary Stewart's Skirball Tribute. He says, Stan, what's the story of that? Hey, I'm in serious grief here, Roy, but let me tell you, this is, you need to cover this, but they don't. You know, maybe Elvis Costello was like, well, I miss Gary because he, he talked to me about m me all the time. You know, the industry really loved him. Okay? Okay, Cal. Okay, Cal? Newsom mentioned mindful about 24 times today. Mindful, mindful, mindful. Hunter Biden, pedo, bondage, lives in my neighborhood. I'm mindful of that. There's a protocol for sitting.